What's up YouTube? Titan here bringing you guys a brand new video and today I'm going to uh, be doing a new kind of video. Something I haven't done before and uh, something I think you guys would enjoy very much and that's going to be a story time with me. And I, I'm thinking about making that a series on uh, Sunday so I'm trying to bring it to the channel now and seeing what you guys think. So. Please let me know down in the comments below what you think, but uh, let's let's kick it right off. So uh, where I started video gaming, I remember I was really young, like four or five, and I went down to my grandma's, and my grandma and grandpa have uh, they had many kids. Uh, my grandpa has uh, eleven children, and nine with my one grandma. So they they divorced and separated and. Uh, they found new, uh, you know, new people to, uh, be in a relationship with. So, uh, my, my family's quite big. So, uh, out of all that, uh, I, you know, so there was video game systems and stuff down there to obviously entertain my aunts, my uncles, because there was nine kids. So, my very first video game ever was uh, Nintendo. It was on the original Nintendo, uh, the re original NES, where you had a blow on the cartridge, like, <gasps> push it in, and it pushed in, and it went down, and uh, you flipped it down. And my very first video game was Duck Hunt with uh, Mario. And back in that day, the controller was not as uh, sophisticated as some of the controllers we have today like that triggers buttons that do every single freaking thing in the world or you know controllers like this or and that and buttons on the back right here so you can shoot and jump and kill people we had literally a d-pad a select start a b that was it so that when i grew when i was growing up i thought that was like the coolest thing and then duck hunt came with the gun so you would point the gun at the TV and shoot and that that was that was kind of like that was the coolest thing when I was little. I was like, oh my god, I'm five years old. They gave me a gun to shoot ducks. There was nothing better. So uh I don't know how my hair looks. It's probably a mess. But oh oh well, forget about that. Um So about that, I mean I uh that was the first game I played and then I kinda I, I progressed to uh, Super Mario 2, and I progressed to uh, Super Mario 3, and then I found the old uh, Atari, that's it, with the, the paddle and the that, and it had Pong, it had Pac-Man, it, it had all those great games, so my, my whole continuance and story of uh, when I started gaming, I, I started gaming back when it was it was not as fun as it is today. So, I mean, but I was young, it was fun, and that's when we played games just because they were good games, not because they looked good and stuff like that, how it is today. And the graphics didn't matter back then, and like they do today all. Oh, and every time I talk to people at work and outside of... Uh, you know, outside of my job and just friends and stuff, this game looks so good. And back in the day, even on the original Xbox and the PS2, like the game we're playing right now, uh, Godfather, the Godfather, the graphics weren't the best, but the gameplay is where it was. And I've, I've always been that kind of, you know, gamer where I don't really care if the graphics are the best in the world. If, they, if it looks halfway decent and halfway good, then why not, and, and the game's just blown away so good, then why not, uh, you know, play it? And why does, it, some some games that look really crappy, like not crappy, I shouldn't say crappy, but not, not as best and top-notched and polished as some, don't get the credit that they deserve. And, you know, that that's, that's kind of where I'm going with this, that, you know, just because the game doesn't look that good, doesn't mean it doesn't have the potential to be the greatest game of all time, you know. For example, Minecraft. I mean, let's be real. Minecraft, when it first dropped, when it was like $4 to buy it, 5 bucks to buy it or something like that, when I bought it, 
So I've been playing Minecraft for a very long time, very, very long time actually. And I'm going to be bringing that to the channel eventually. But, you know, when I, when I started playing it a long time ago, it, it did not look good. But the fact that you could just do whatever and it was such a free roam, open world survival experience, it, it blew me away. So, like I said, and, and now look at it today though. Look at it today. It's There's so many mods for it and so many texture packs and stuff like that. And it became one of the greatest games of all time. So what I'm just saying is, you know, where I started, it wasn't on the best games in the world or the greatest games to some people. But to me, that's all, that's my childhood. And that's, that's, that's kind of where I grew up. That's where I started. And that's kind of my home roots. So... Mario always has a special spot in my heart, and I don't know if, if you know if you guys, any of you guys have the same feeling, and you know the you know the whole origin of Mario and where he came, and you guys played the very old Mario games and all that. Some of you guys might have, some of you guys might not have. So, you know, when I I progressed from the NES, I got the you know I was playing on the Atari. Then we had the Sega Genesis, and. uh my biggest game on the Sega Genesis was Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog, and uh, Mortal Kombat. Now, mind you, Mortal Kombat did not look how it looks today. I was, I was watching a few Mortal Kombat X videos from uh, other YouTubers and stuff like that, and just looking at the game and looking at how amazing the graphics look and how amazing the game looks and everything. But back in the day, you had like 8-bit blood. It was just red pixels just boop, 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 boop. and the fatalities back in the day the fatalities aren't like how it is today where you could hit the screen and see what the fatality move was it was a it was a special unlock and a special code that you literally as a gamer had to figure out so when there was lands and stuff when I was younger and stuff like they had competitions and local game like movie like where you go rent movies and like like uh well, Blockbuster video, they had a gaming tournament, a family video, and they just had gaming tournaments, like all these movie, like rent movie places and rent video game places, they had all these tournaments, and I was, uh, I was playing in some a couple times, and it was just for like free rentals and stuff like that, but it wasn't, it wasn't like a huge deal, it, it, you were just playing the game for fun, so I knew a fatality for uh, one of the characters, and I remember I brought it out to the, you know, I brought it out at the end, and I I got the win, so I, I had a free movie rental, and that that made my uh that made you know my night. I was like, yeah, I, did you see me rip his head off? I was scorpion, I pulled him, and that's all I remember is just pulling the guy like, get over here, and then he was like pulling him in, and then he rips his head off, and that was something that was so cool because not it, it nobody knew how to do it, you know. You gotta unlock it and figure it out. And then once that happened, all these kids came up to me, you know, dude, how'd you do that? That's so awesome. Can you teach me how to do that? What's the code you did? You know, back, back, up. Uh, I think it was back, back, up, B, or something like that. Or I knew it was back a lot of times, and I went up, and then I knew the last button was B. So, I mean, it was just crazy that you know back in the day games like that were just so much more fun because there was a lot more secretive I feel you know you had to actually earn the things and but I mean I wouldn't change how games are today so I hope you guys enjoyed this I hope this is something that I can continue to do with you guys on uh, Sundays I, I, I kinda wanna make it like a Sunday ritual you know from you know, hopefully, hopefully, if this video gets five likes, I'll do it next week. How about that? So, if this video, show, show us some love. Um, you know, that's all I really can say. So, if you liked it, it's something new I'm trying out. Something that you guys get to know and learn more about me as I progress the series. So, if you guys liked it, please just drop that thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. Because I do do a weekly giveaway. Like always in all my videos I say it. I do do weekly giveaways. And uh, go follow my Twitter down in the description below. And as always YouTube. This has been Titan. I will see you guys in another video. You guys stay awesome. And bye.